Hi everybody, my name's Mary, this is Midpoint Library, so it must be time for story time. Are you ready? Let's make sure. If you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story and you want us all to know if you're ready for a story, wave hello. Hi everybody, it's so good to see you again. Isn't the beautiful weather just inspiring you to go outside? At least I hope it's not raining today. I can't quite see from here. But I love summertime weather. And one of my favorite things is that after it rains, a rainbow usually comes out. If it's raining and the sun is all there, it's, oh, it's awesome. So I thought today maybe we could talk about rainbows. Sound good? Alrighty. <clears throat> Our first book today is called Raindrops to Rainbows. And this one was written for us by John Miklos Jr. and illustrated by Charlene Chua. And this book comes to us from our friends at the at Penguin Books. Penguin Workshop, they call it. So this is Raindrops to Rainbow. Plip, plop, plip, plop, plip, plip, plop. Oh, will these raindrops ever stop? I want a calm, clear, blue sky day so I can go outside and play. I miss the yellow summer sun. I miss the laughter. I miss the fun. Now I stare out at the rain. My breath fogs up the window pane. The sky is damp and dull and gray with more dark rain clouds on the way. Rumbling, rolling, scary thunder. Grab green blanket and a scramble under. Find brown bear and hold him tight. Try to chase away my fright. White Lightning streaks across the skies. I duck my head and close my eyes. Mom gives Bear and me a hug. I feel safer. I feel snug. Mom makes up a game she calls. Count each blue raindrop as it falls. No way, I say, it can't be done. Mom smiles. Let's try. It might be fun. One drop, two drops, thousands, millions, maybe six or eight gazillion. Can you count that high? I cannot count to a gazillion. Well, I haven't tried it yet. Back to the book. So, <clears throat> counting raindrops. Raindrops splash down to the ground make gray puddles all around. Mom makes soup for us to eat and orange slices, mm, what a treat. Ooh, look outside, the clouds are clearing. First I'm smiling, then I'm cheering. Pull red rain boots on our feet. Find some puddles by the street. Stomp, stomp, stomp those puddles dry. Then I look up at the sky. <gasps> Beaming rainbow, bold and bright, brilliant colors. What a sight. Seven stripes, I know each one, and I name them just for fun. I see violet, then indigo. Five more colors left to go. Blue and green stripes across the skies. So bright, I have to shade my eyes. Yellow, orange, then comes red. Seven colors overhead. Reach for the rainbow, bright and wide. Then it's time to go inside. When I climb into bed, I'm glad, thinking of the day we've had. 
I don't mind rain because I know <clears throat> without raindrops, there'd be no rainbow. Raindrops to rainbow. You know what I like about that, about that story is it tells us about how rainbows are formed, right? When there's rain coming down and the sun shining through, there's a whole lot of science to it that I'm not going to try to explain, but trust me that when the light hits the water, it makes a rainbow. <clears throat> and I think that's kind of a neat thing to think about just like when things are bad or sad, like a rainy day, it helps to have confidence that soon it'll be better and there will be a rainbow. And if the bad day is because of rain, you know there's a rainbow coming. And if the bad day is because of something else going on, there's usually, there's always a better day coming. Do you believe me on that one? I sure hope you do. Did you see? I've got a flannel board up here with a whole bunch of fruits. Do you think you can help me to name what uh, fruits we have here? Let's start here. What's this one? That's right, that one's an apple. And here we have a bunch of grapes. Very good. This long yellow one is banana. How about this green one here? Do you know that? That one is a pear. And then over here we have a bunch of blueberries. And finally, we just heard about it in our story, a nice juicy orange. Well, I thought today we could have a rainbow stew. So I've got my pot and I've got my spoon and we're gonna stir it up, all right? Now, like most of our rhymes, this one has a lot of repetition. So if you know what the words are or if you hear it a couple times and you know what's gonna come next, say it with me, okay? Hey, grown-ups, repetition is how we learn things. That's why we sing the alphabet all the time. Okay, you ready? So I'm going to take an apple and put it in the pot and stir it and stir it and stir it a lot. And then I'm gonna take it out. And what will it be? <gasps> the prettiest red you ever did see. Ooh, it's kind of a magical pot I've got going here. All right, let's, what should we do next? Let's take that juicy orange, you ready? So I'm gonna take the orange and put it in the pot and stir it and stir it and stir it a lot and take it out and what will it be? The prettiest, what color? That's right, orange, you ever did see. Hmm, let's go for my favorite. Let's take that banana. I'm gonna take the banana and put it in the pot and stir it and stir it and stir it a lot. And I'll take it out. And what will it be? The prettiest, what color is that? Yellow that you ever did see. You're getting pretty good at these colors. So if we're talking about rainbows and we've had red, then orange, then yellow, what color comes next? of these three up here. In a rainbow, red, orange, yellow. That's right, the green one. So I'm gonna take this pear and put it in the pot and stir it and stir it and stir it a lot. And I'll take it out and what will it be? The prettiest, you tell me the color. That's right, the prettiest green you ever did see. Mmm, blueberries. My child loves blueberries. Let's put those in the pot, you ready? We're gonna take our blueberries and put them in the pot and stir them and stir them and stir them a lot. And I'll take it out now and what will it be? You know, the prettiest blue you ever did see. Now we're up to grapes. Here's the thing, grapes can come in a bunch of different colors, can't they? What color are these grapes here? That's right, they're purple. Sometimes grapes are in other colors, but for this rhyme, we kind of need to have purple grapes. So I'm gonna take these purple grapes and put them in the pot and stir them and stir them and stir them a lot. And then take it out. 
And what do you see? I know you know. The prettiest purple you ever did see. And that's our rainbow. Now, if you remember in our book, the child in our book when talking about the rainbow talked about seven colors. She said red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So let's talk about that for a minute. Violet is another word for purple, okay? And indigo is a color that's kind of purplish and kind of bluish. It's sort of in the middle there. And sometimes people include indigo in their... Uh, in their rainbow, and some people sometimes people don't include indigo. Can you think of a fruit that is indigo colored, kind of between purple and blue? Well, if you came up with one, you're better than I am. I couldn't come up with one, so that's why we only have six stripes on this rainbow. How about another book about rainbows? Let's do it. This one is called Ducky's Rainbow. Isn't that a cool shape for a book? Usually our books are squares or rectangles. They usually have four sides. But this book has one, two, three sides. Hmm. Well, this one is called Ducky's Rainbow. And this one was written and illustrated for us by Frances Berry. And it comes from Candlewick Press. Are you ready? Here we go. Ducky walked home through the red poppy field. That's those flowers, those are called poppies. Ducky was in a hurry. She hopped under the orange bridge and waddled around the cornfield. What color do we see here? That's right, yellow. She hurried past the big green tree and paddled across the cool, what color is that pond? Across the cool pond? The cool blue pond, you got it. And Ducky arrived home and looked up at the indigo sky. There we are with indigo again. The violet clouds floated by and the rain came down. And when the sun came out, she saw a beautiful rainbow. Let's do it again with our colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet or purple. Ah, I really like that rounded book. That's Ducky's Rainbow. You know, rainbows are um, a part of a lot of tradi traditions. Some faith traditions um, can look at the rainbow like a promise. You might have heard about this story from your parents about that the rainbow is a promise that uh, things won't always be bad or things will get better. And some faith traditions think of a rainbow as a path from this life to something even more wonderful. Um, what I really like about rainbows is I like all the bright colors. I mean, I like red all by itself. That's pretty awesome. And orange and yellow, I like all the colors individually. But when you put them all together, it's so much more. You know, if you use a lot of colors, you can show a lot of things. It's kind of like that with people, too. Can you imagine if everybody was exactly the same? If everybody was exactly like me? Oh, not a good world we'd have. Nobody would ever cut the grass. But. It's a great thing that we're all different and we can all learn things from each other and teach each other new things. And that's how I think people are like rainbows. All right, you know what? Let's stop talking, let's go outside and play because I think it's pretty sunny out there today. So let's go out and play. But before we go, let's sing our goodbye song. Do you remember this one? Let's sing. See you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile, give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish, see you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye-bye, everybody.